Masuna na hadiza ya kubu. Nide ni na zaunia alapi ya kwa da. To da di muna dira yomu. Da iki unguna. Na noma abu shaparko. Masara. Dawa. Ridi. Dika muna asawa. Ada suwa ken soya. Mutani Nika, Lele Kayana, and Kauman Kudi. That did a Muki Daka. Do we Daka? Send can do by and design in Sarafa Abane as a Magadi. To a lens at the engine gaze or no. A gala. I quoted that they were that they were a cashier car of Goma Shabir. The engine is on up. Na Peter, no. Boom, 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 make a little banner. In the tide, the engine do not in condition in shaking. Capon has a moment now. When you look at your mother, I can hear. And what's here, and you go now? Kajaka Yao, Mamba Kasamuva. And I think I check it in your garden. Same cash engine will be a major mercy among the bar. Tua ayanzu da prado pawa saka kawo mana wuta abubuwa da dama sun canza mana We provide clean tech solutions in the energy sector we create solutions using solar or other renewable um, technology to provide affordable reliable and sustainable power to off-grid communities and to commercial and industrial customers. So I started my engineering career in um, a gas turbine power plant and we often found that while we had excess power at the plant, we finished work, went home and discovered we didn't have power in our homes. There was a huge disconnect between the demand, the supply, you know, and then the transmission chains. After about nine years of my working in the power sector and growing to become the station manager, I decided it was best for me to actually join forces in the renewable sector, build mini grids and make impact. So the DART program is called the Demand Aggregation for Renewable Technology. It's a program that helps to finance power equipment for renewable energy companies. We're able to purchase the equipment at cheaper rates. It helps us keep our costs down, uh, the cost of our projects, and that generally translates to having better sustainable projects to our communities. EAP is uh, called Energizing Agricultural Program. EAP essentially tries to retrofit the conventional processing equipment that run with petrol or diesel engines to electric motors and connecting them to the mini grids to consume the electricity. So essentially try to put the electricity to more productive use within the communities. As we install our mini grids in the community like in Lafayette Bada, we identify all the customers within the community who had agro-processing equipment, using it with diesel engines uh, and petrol engines to power them since they had no electricity. To get electric motors and retrofit this equipment, you know, to now run an electricity, which Prado Power through the mini grids was providing. When a mini grid comes to a community like this, it just energizes the entire community. They all now have access to power. Everyone is connected. Um, schools are connected. Hospitals are connected. So this has significantly boosted uh, all the activities across board. Yanzu da aka kawo mana ni 
inna kan yi aiki na da injin nepa naka yi nuka na a cikin sauki kuma in samu yanda rai nake so takan samu injin kutan nan ya kawo mani samu gaskiya har da wanda ma bai za to ba the main stay of our economy in nigeria is agriculture um, the vast majority of our people are within the rural communities and what they do is agriculture. So as we bring power to these communities, we power the agriculture and then we're able to power the nation. Mm -hmm. 